Hi YouTube, this is Eva Kiki. Hi to my new and my old subscribers. I want to say hello to everyone. Um, it is Sunday night. It is uh, almost 9 o'clock uh, p.m. Uh, I wanted to be home earlier, but some things happened and I couldn't get here as fast as I could. But I'm here doing my normal Sunday night video. Um, so I'm just coming to you to say hello and um, yeah, the weekend went by too, too fast. It felt like I didn't even have a weekend because I was so busy Saturday with rehearsal. I was so busy today with church and then family and yeah. So I went to Big Lots because they were having a 20% off sale today. Went to Big Lots and um, leaving there, ended up leaving my phone in there and I called back with my son's phone and the lady's like, we have it. I was like, thank you, God. Um, the girl registered that I went through, she could have kept my phone, y'all. I have an iPhone. She could have kept it. But thank you, Lord God Almighty, that she was honest and she was like, yeah, I have it here. So what I did when I got there, I um, took out a pair of my earrings that I had made. I put um, one of my cards in it. Oh, y'all, I got my cards. I'm going to have to show them to you. I put my cards in it, and then I... Um, and then I, I well, one of my cards in it. And then I, I, when I went back to the store to get my phone, she was on lunch. So they sent, the people sent me to the break room. I'm like, wow. So I went to the break room um, and I told her thank you because she had left it up front for me. I told her thank you and I gave her the earrings. And she was like, what is this? I was like, um, these are a pair of earrings from my earring line, uh, my jewelry line. And I was like, oh, she said, oh, thank you. <laughs> And I said, thank you for holding my phone. I said, because I have a lot of my sermons on my phone. So I, I thank you so much and um, for being honest. And she said, you're welcome. So um, hopefully I need to get my elders cards too. I got to order those now so that I can, um, my ministry cards, so I can put those inside of my jewelry packages as well. Um, but anyway, yes, it is Sunday night. Um, tomorrow's Monday. we got to go to work. But anyway, um, oh, yeah, what's around my neck? Oh, yes, this is getting ready to come to my what, my online store. hope you can see. Okay. This is getting ready to come to my own online store. I actually wore this today. Um, I wore all black today, and I had my accent color to be this color of pink so I wore shoes that had this color of pink in it and I wore this um and everybody loved it people were falling in love with it they were like oh my god it is so beautiful um so this is the latest creation that I made um these will be coming to my website soon um it takes so long to make one um that um yeah yeah <laughs> Um, but definitely this necklace is one of my pieces that I, I just made for myself. Um, and I'm making a duplicate one to go on my website. So that'll be coming soon. Um, this is my other one that I have. This is my other one right here that I made. This is all black. And I was originally going to wear this the other Sunday, but I ended up getting sick and didn't make it. Well, wasn't feeling well and didn't make it to church. Um, but this is my other one that I have. This one's gorgeous as well. This got a lot of rhinestones on it, as well as um, it's black and a little bit of white in it. So, yeah, this is my other one that I um, made. That one's actually mine, and this one's actually mine. But the ones that I'm making that I'm working on now, because I'm working on a turquoise one, um, that one is going to be for sale on my website whenever I'm done with it, and then I'm going to make myself a duplicate one. So um, that's what I think I'm going to start doing, making the one for the shop and then making my own self a duplicate one. But, yeah, I wanted you to see my necklace. I also wanted to show you um, – oh, and these are the earrings I wore with it. These earrings actually worked out. I already had these in my box, and they were flowers as well. So uh, those earrings worked out. I wanted to show you a couple of items that's getting ready to come to the website. Um, I think I dropped one, didn't I? Yeah, I did. It's somewhere up here. I hear it. I hear it. There it is. Okay. So I got a couple of items that is getting ready to come to the website that I'm still working on. They're not completely done yet, but they are getting there. Um, one pair is these right here. 
And the and the earrings I've been doing are, are posts. So these are posts, and these are turquoise, red, and black, and white. These got a lot of colors going on. But these are getting ready to come to my website this week because um, I'm almost done with them. And these I'm not finished yet, but they're coming to the website. Those are coming. Um, and then these are not done either, and they are getting ready to come to the website. These are almost done. I had them upside down. Oh, they look cute that way, too. Hmm. I might have to do another pair upside down. But these are not done either because i got to add some stuff on it. But those are coming to the website also. These are mine. I had these on on Saturday, and I went into a store, and while I was walking in from my car, this lady screamed across the street. Not across the street, but, like, way, like, a little ways from me. Like, she screamed, where did you get those earrings? And I was like, who, who is she talking to? And she was actually talking to me, and she was like, um, your earrings, where did you get them? I said, I made them. And she was like, where's your card? And at the time, my card were, cards hadn't come yet. My cards were in the mail. Um, and the, actually, when I got home that night, they were in my mailbox from Saturday. So she said, um, well, where's – you have a store? Where, I, where I said, no, I have an online store. And she was like, what is it? What is it? Looking for paper and all this stuff. So I go back, and because I had parked in front of her, and then um, I said, I have a couple of things with me. And she was like, are you serious? Yes, I want to see them. She gets out of the car. I ended up going over there to her. I went and pulled out my little bag because this is my bag that I carry with my um, jewelry in it when I'm travel when I'm going out so that if people want something, I'll have it. I'm getting ready to find something that I can convert this over to because I need something bigger. And um, she said, um, she was like, you know, I love jewelry like this. I love jewelry like this. I really want the ones in your ears. Well, these are the ones that she, she was talking about, these right here. I had these on on Saturday, and that lady had a fit. When I say she had a fit, y'all, she had a fit. She had a fit. Um, but I told her, I was like, you know, I don't have any more of these. I said, but there's going to be more coming. She ended up, out of my bag, buying five pairs of earrings. She spent. Fifty dollars, forty my forty seven dollars with me, and she was just like, like she really went off, and she was like, she sells jeans in her store or something like that, and I was like, okay, and um, yeah, she really was like going off over my jewelry, looking through things. She was like, oh, oh, and making noise. I was like, okay, lady, calm down. She was like, I, I like stuff that's different, and I was like, yeah, I, that's what I try to do. I try to make things that are different, and um you know, add my own touch to it and stuff. So she um she definitely was was falling in love with my jewelry. So with her asking me that I have an actual store to go in, that kind of motivated me to do what I know I need to do. And that is to open up a store. And that's my desire. Um I didn't wear this shirt with this either. This is something I had on this uh, evening, but I'm just going to take this off real quick. But um, I, um, I, I don't know. I, I want to open this store, and it's driving me absolutely crazy because I am tired of working at my job, and I'm not happy. And I want to do something that makes me happy. And what makes me happy, what makes me happy is creating jewelry, creating things, creating earrings, creating necklaces, creating bracelets, creating everything. And that's what I love to do. And that's what I'm happy doing. And I'm not happy on my job. And I keep seeing a lot of things, you know, people keep running into me. And they don't know that I'm not a, not happy on my job. And they're running into me and they're like, um, I'm sorry, I'm going to take my hair down while I'm talking. They're running into me and they're um, they're just talking about how they had to make a decision of being happy and 
you know, you got to do what you have to do to be happy. And I'm like, I'm totally not happy at my job. And I'm really think I've been thinking a lot of what I need to do, what, you know, I, I, I'm doing something that I don't enjoy. You know, I want to do something that I enjoy. I want to be able to enjoy what I do and what, what I'm doing now, oh, those pins were hurting my head. Woo. What I'm doing right now um, on my job is completely not, I, I'm not happy. And I hate to say that, but I really finally confessed that this weekend that I'm not. And what makes me happy is when I'm working on my jewelry or when I'm working on um on creating new items and when I'm focusing and I'm able to focus on this one thing and it just brings such a joy to my heart, you know, that I can't even explain to make things like this and to make things like this, like, like you know, like these items. So it, it just... It, I don't know. It just does. It just does something for me. And I've been work. I didn't just start creating jewelry. I have been creating jewelry for over ten years. Um, I have been doing jewelry. I, I know it's got to have been about. Actually, it was before my son was ever born. So I'll say about fifteen or more years. I have been creating jewelry. I have been creating things. Um, and doing things and selling jewelry, and um, I'm just ready to, you know, I don't know if I'm going to start out. I think what, what me and my son was discussing, um, I should probably and get check it out about starting a kiosk in the mall first, and then uh, as my business grow, move out to an actual building, like rent one of the, um, the shopping center uh, suites. Um, so it's something that I'm definitely considering. It's something that has been on my mind. Um, I don't know. I just know that I have to make this change. I have to do what is going to make me happy, and, and I'm trying to have faith doing it, but I know, you know, I want to make sure that I'm going to be able to be covered um, when it comes to paying my bills. Um, so right now I've been doing a lot of trying to pay things off so that I can, um, basically so that I can, I can pay my, so that I can have those things taken care of when I take that step. Um, every day I go to work, I feel like turning in a two week notice and that's sad. That is so sad that every day that I go to work, I feel like turning in a two week notice. That, the, and I moved from one job. I've only been at this job for a year. I moved from one job that I've been at for five years because of the hell I was going through there. And I'm not cursing, but because of what I was going through there. I, I, and then I get this job. And I, at this point, I'm like, no matter what job I go to, I'm not going to be happy because I'm not happy with what I'm doing. I'm not happy doing what I love. And what I love is creating jewelry. What I love is ministering. So me having my store will allow me to go out and travel and minister more than what I'm doing now. Um, I really want to take on doing ministry full time. I, I really do. I really want to take on doing ministry full time. And uh, right now, this job has me stressed out so much. Sometimes I don't get to focus on the, the word like I'm supposed to. I don't get to do the things I'm supposed to because I am constantly stressed out at work. And I want to be able to do what God has called me to do, which first is the ministry. Then I can work on my, he'll let my jewelry line fall into place because I'll be focusing on the ministry first. So that's where I am, you all, right now. Um, a lot has been going on when I'm not on because I'm, I'm doing a lot of thinking. I'm doing a lot of evaluating. I'm doing a lot of, God, what do you want me to do Um type things. And I prayed to God, you know, I've been praying to him and I'm, I'm like, God, I, I need to hear from you. I need to hear what you're, you're telling me um, to do. And 
people just keep coming to me that don't even know that I'm considering this because I will, they will probably look at my situation and say, you're a fool to leave your job with what you're making. I make a lot of money on my job, and they probably are like, you're a fool to do that, you know, and I'm just, I don't know. I, I have a lot of seeking God to do regarding this this whole thing, so just keep praying for me, you all. Um, the hair is doing good. Um, I just washed it on Friday night. I wash my hair on Friday night. Um, I've been having a problem with a little bit of dry scalp, though. And what I did is washed it with my, oh, so far I'm doing good with it. I washed it with my tea tree um, shampoo because I need needed to get that scalp taken care of. Um, and I conditioned it real good. And then I... I um, I actually did flat twist this time, but I'm really liking the way that it looks. Um, I had the flat twist in all day yesterday, and then I took them out on on today. Um, so I like the way that it came out, and I like the way that it looks. So I don't know how I'm going to wear it to bed. Um, maybe I'll do that pineapple method. Let's try that. I got some little things here. So let's see. Let me try to put it in that little pineapple thing that everybody be doing when they go to bed. Let's see if that's going to work for me. Because I have so much hair. Ooh, okay. So maybe it will work. Okay, well... There you have it. I'm going to wear it like this to bed tonight, and I'll probably pin it up a little bit. And I probably should have used a looser, um, let me use a looser band because this one's kind of tight. Okay, I'll use this big one right here. So let's try this again. Let's, let's do the pineapple method tonight. Okay, that's a little bit better. Mm, I can wear this as a hairstyle right here. Yeah, I could. I haven't worn my hair on top of my head like this in a very, very long time. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of tangle right here, which I don't want. Okay, there we go. Oh, a piece came out. Okay, there we have it. Okay. Hey, this is a cute hairstyle. Look at that, y'all. And Okay. I might have to wear it like this one day. Yeah. But I'll probably wear it like this one day. But I'm going to go to sleep like this. I'm going to pin these up somewhere so that they're not just some bobby pins. So they're not, um, so that my hair don't get, you know. Tangled. Yeah. Let me show y'all how these earrings are going to look, these earrings look in my ear. Because a lot of people love these yesterday when I wore them. Let's see. Do I got it on there? No, I don't. Uh, I think this one's hold on. Okay, this this uh, this is how these looked in my ear yesterday, and that lady was going completely off. Oh my God, she was going off, y'all. Mm, if y'all would have just saw her. Yeah, but that's all I have to talk about right now. Um, what we spent? I don't have anything else. I got a whole lot of stuff that I'm working on right now at one time, and that's my issue. I need to stop working on everything at one time and just 
work on one piece at a time because it's like I got so many things in my head right now that I'm trying to get out and it's like oh god oh god oh god I gotta get all this stuff out of my mind so that I can get these things out and on my website and all out and I got so much I'm trying to do so pray for me y'all um of course if I had my shop and I wasn't working my job I could do it all day long yeah so my question is if you all um if there are any of you out there that have um took the step out um to you know step out and do your dream to do what you what makes you happy tell me how that like tell me what did you do like how did you stay well financial, uh, well, you know, how can I say it, well established financially? Um, give me some tips. Give me some ideas um, on things that would help me even start my business, like um, grants or or things like that that I could get to help me open up a small business. Um, let me know. Let me know. Let me know what you all think. Let me know what you all, um, just let me know. Because I don't want to get discouraged about what I want to do. And I want to do what I want to, what my dream is. So let me know what you all did to get where you're at and help me get some tips. Whether it's doing a video response to this video um, to me so that I can see it. If you want to talk to me. Um, or emailing me or putting a message in it whatever you feel the need to do um please just help me get to where I'm trying to get with the business um because I don't want to just do it online I want to be able to have an actual store that people can come and see the items and pick the items up so um and I'm in Virginia so if you know of any grants that could help me do what I need to do to get this started that would be great um so there you have it guys I'm I'm tired now I'm going to go lay down um but you all have a blessed night um and take care love you and this is a year of favor don't ever forget it all right bye